a very good morning to everyone i am going to present my paper a study to assess the gaps in the knowledge and practices of anganwadi workers in a rural area of meerut a situational analysis on umbrella icds scheme this study is done with a background that integrated child development services scheme which is a, is a flagship program under ministry of women and child development and one of the largest and unique program for early child care and development This program was launched in 1975 with 33 projects and 4891 anganwadi centers which has progressed to 7075 projects and over 13 lakh operational anganwadi centers by 2019 The integration of ICDS scheme with various ministries and health system has provided opportunity to launch various nutritional and health related programs The name of certain programs are Rashtriya Bal Swasthya Karyakram, Bal Swasthya Poshan Maha, National Iron Plus Initiative, and the recently launched Poshan Abhiyan. This rising scope and responsibilities of Anganwadi workers under ICDS and the gaps in converting knowledge into action has raised certain questions on the success of existing scheme and proposed programs. This raises to the uh, question that if we empower anganwadi workers at this junction where the country is relying on them as an important component of health system to combat the challenges of malnutrition and meet the needs of early childhood care and development is the demand of the hour on this basis we laid our aim uh, which states that Uh, which states to assess the gaps in the knowledge and its implication on the attitude and practices of anganwadi workers in the implementation of icds scheme and other programs through these centers the methodology of the study uh, states like this study has been conducted in a uh, in a rural block of meerut district of uttar pradesh and this study was conducted between january 2017 to june 2017 and it and the study design was a cross sectional descriptive study now the study population and sample size as i have already told that this study has been carried out under a csc block of meerut that was machra block which is also the field practice area of community department of community medicine llrm medical college It consists of six PSCs and forty-six villages, and a total of one ninety-six Anganwadi centers. We have uh, in this study we have taken all the Anganwadi centers within this block, and every Anganwadi worker was approached. At the end of the day, at the end of the study, we were able to communicate with one eighty Anganwadi workers. Now moving towards the data collection tool and the process of analysis. in this we have developed on the basis of literature review and uh, past studies a questionnaire which was semi structured consisting of both open ended and closed ended questions the questions were both in english as well as in hindi these questions were designed to assess the knowledge attitude and practice of anganwadi workers along with uh, uh, taking the socio demographic information now this process of data collection it began with piloting the questionnaire among the 10% of the population that is around 18 anganwadi workers and in which we have approached after that after piloting once the questionnaire was finalized we have approached all 196 anganwadi workers but of which the data we were able to collect the data from 180 anganwadi workers the data was collected and compiled on ms excel 2013 and later on analyzed using api info software 3.7.2 the ethical approval for this study has been obtained from the ethical committee of llrm medical college meerut now moving towards the result the socio demographic factors we found in this study was like majority of anganwadi workers were in the age group of 30 to 49 years among the educational qualification we have found that majority of anganwadi workers were graduate and above and uh, as far as the marital status is covered is considered uh, majority of them were married uh, the and they belong to the same village 
and Hindu in uh, religion and as far as socio-economic status was considered it was calculated using modified BJ Prasad uh, socio-economic scale calculation and majority of them were found into the class 2. Now towards moving towards the logistics where we will we look for availability and the quality of the data of the various logistic materials present in the Anganwadi centers. We have found that majority of the logistics were in place in the Anganwadi centers and they were kept uh, quite neatly by the Anganwadi workers. But as far as their maintenance is considered, the maintenance was found to be a challenge. Specifically the growth charts, the daily diary whose uh, maintenance uh, was found to be very low as low as 13% and 48%. Similarly, the re uh, refilling of these materials was found to be challenging because like toy kit, medicine kit, despite they were present but they were not up to date, some were containing the expired medicine or the toys were found to be broken or uh, damaged so they were not up to the mark. No, we assess the knowledge of Anganwadi workers where we have seen the knowledge regarding immunization schedule, regarding the dose of polio vaccine. Similarly, under the breastfeeding, we have looked for exclusive breastfeeding, duration of breastfeeding. Though majority of the knowledge was in place, but in certain areas like finding the advantages of giving breastfeeding to the mother uh, or to the baby, were not uh, the Anganwadi were not aware of these things which shows that they just know about the work but they don't know about the impact of these services delivered to the uh, beneficiaries. Similarly, when we looked for antenatal care, malnutrition and regarding certain minor ailments like fever and diarrhea, we have seen that uh, the Anganwadi workers are having enough knowledge which is required at the level of uh, field workers. But when we move towards the practices, there was a huge lack between the implementation, between the knowledge and its implementation. Uh, as we can see that the growth chart was present in majority of the Anganwadi workers, but they were not filled. They haven't marked the, uh, the road to health. Similarly, if a child is found to be malnourished, the next steps they don't know what to do means like if they, if they need to do both referral as well as double the food supply. So both of these things were missing and they were not able to reply us back or can show us that what they do once a child is found to be malnourished. When we see for the satisfaction of these Anganwadi workers, it was found that their salary per month compared to the work given allotted to them was very low and they were not satisfied with this. With this. Along with this, uh, the second challenge which they found was the uh, whether the salary was provided on time or not and it was found that 69% uh, of the Anganwadi workers said that they didn't get the salary on time and average delay uh, recorded was around 3 to 4 months. And this delay in salary and a low salary is one of the major reasons for their poor satisfaction towards their work. Thus I would like to conclude this paper with this conclusion that this study uh, that, that in this study we found that the knowledge of Anganwari workers in majority of the cases was adequate and meeting the requirements of the various program implemented through them. But the implementation of knowledge on the ground is markedly missing in the practices. This gap in the implementation of ICDS will further affect the execution of other programs which are or which will be using Anganwari center and Anganwari worker as a platform. In addition, majority of the program implementation is on paper and in reports while in reality it's facing a numerous challenges of non-functional instruments and incomplete and outdated kits. Thus, we will recommend that there is a need for a robust mechanism for monitoring on-ground implementation of the project activities by Anganwari workers which should be evaluated through process observation alongside the report submit. Thus, I will conclude this study. Uh, thank you and these are my contact number if any question is raised or if, if you want to ask any query regarding this study. Thank you.